What's up, treasure hunters? This is Ezzy, back with another episode on clipping treasures. As you can see around us, we are in a storage facility. Today on lunch, sitting in my work truck, and I went on to a new auction site, and I bid on one unit this morning, and that unit ended up getting canceled. So then I bid on another unit, that unit got canceled, so I'm like, I can't strike out. So then I found this unit, it's literally not even 10 minutes from my house. It's a 10 by 10 unit, but it's not that big. So I bought it, paid $360 for this unit. When it's all said and done, I've paid a total of $450. So let's see what we got. This is the unit that we got. Number 2422. Let's open it up. Let's check it out. Just did all the payments on it. Everything's good to go. I have 48 hours to empty this unit. Shouldn't be a problem. There's nobody here, so I can record this. We're not gonna go through every box, but I'll give you an idea of what I just spent. 450 bucks on. I think you're gonna like it. The only thing I don't like about this unit is I got a nasty ass mattress and a box spring. Um, I got bins, I got boxes. I got these cool little trunks. Two little trunks there. I got some bins down here. This unit's been a while. I mean, there's spider webs everywhere. Got some really nice lamps. That almost looks like a Tiffany lampshade. And I got some bigger stuff behind here. Got some of these like wicker type baskets. Those are really nice. Just a bunch of little boxes and they all say storage, so I'm gonna dig into it. We're gonna set you up right here. Sorry if it's a little dark, but I'll do my best. We'll go through a couple of these just to show you what I spent money on. You know, we'll start here with this little wicker basket. Looks like a little weight and a shoehorn. No treasure there, but it's a nice basket. You can easily sell that at the flea market. Got a bin here. It's like some kitchen stuff. So like we got some more fine crystal. That's exactly what it is. Nothing too shabby. Um, got some more. This looks like a maybe a salt and pepper shaker. Another glass. All right, so that's a little sneak peek there, and then we got some nasty uh, tableware, but it's a decent little bin. There's another bin. Um, look at that, it's already Ziploc bagged up. Little blue cups. Nothing too fancy. like a blue maybe dinner set Royal Norfolk I have no idea Greenbrier International I'll have to look it up later but if I got a kitchen set like this it'll probably sell it's kind of cool like I saw this is just gonna be a quick little insight of what I got have 48 hours to uh, empty this unit so a lot of it I'm gonna go through at home 
That's a nasty pillow. That's garbage. This is cool. Made in Korea. It's pretty neat. That'll sell at the flea market. Same thing with this basket. That'll sell at the flea market. Or maybe the wife wants it. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, let's dig into this little box. I like little boxes. You never know what you're going to find in a box. Some of these boxes, you can maybe find like a jewelry box or something cool. I mean, this is a ladle. Oh wow, and that's a glass ladle. That's pretty wild. That is pretty wild. It's not even chipped. This stuff's packaged very well. This is a set. Pretty cool. I'm starting to get quite the collection of dishes. Every unit's got dishes. But that'll sell. Got some pillows. Might be able to keep these for the house. See if the wife likes them. Definitely pick that home today. Um, this box says Marshall Fields, Dayton Hudson, and it's pretty secure, taped up pretty well. Oh wow, that's pretty cool, wait till you see this, this is pretty neat. That is one big rooster, that's pretty cool. I have no idea what it's going to be worth, but that's pretty neat. So it's starting to look definitely like an old lady locker, which I have no problems with because I do quite well with old lady lockers. Um, here's, here's two empty baskets to go with the other ones. That's kind of neat. I'm guessing this is another like chicken or something. We'll look at home with that. Um, we'll go through that box at home. We also got some uh, artwork. Oh wow, that's very pretty. Very pretty. Sign. That'll sell at the flea market. Not bad. Even as a price tag, I got 35 bucks. Look at that. That one's cool. stones on it or something. Pretty neat. Um, this is probably going to stay at my house. This looks like a plant stand. The wife is in the plants and she'll probably definitely put dibs on this. It's a very nice wrought iron plant stand. about these. It's a total, total gamble. 
You never know what you're going to get. You never know. Let's get one. This is a total Christmas bin. I mean, it's tons of Christmas tins, wreaths, just tons of just Christmas stuff. A lot of this stuff's going to get donated because I just don't want it in my house. We have our own Christmas stuff. Um, well, more, more stuff. That's very cool. This is probably worth some money. Boxes with this uh, stuff. You know, my wife and I are going to go through all of this on camera to show you exactly what we got. Oh, look at this. More Tupperware. Old women, they love their Tupperware. That sold pretty good at the flea market last week. I sold a whole box of Tupperware for 20 bucks. Bedding stuff. A little miscellaneous box. Lots of little treasures. I mean, look at these lamps. Holy cow, this thing weighs a ton. Weighs a ton. But this is probably for those Tiffany looking lamps. It's not Tiffany though, but I bet you this lamp weighs over 20 pounds. And that lampshade probably weighs 20 pounds. It's pretty cool. Those will sell at the flea market, no problem. Got two of those. Looks like I got a headboard, bed set. Well, treasure hunters, I've made one trip to the truck. I got another little load I'm gonna take to the truck. But I kind of peeked into a lot of this stuff and I got literally like, four bins of box of uh, pictures including one box I got a lot of glassware I got some cheaper fine china and it's gonna be a tough one it's definitely gonna be a tough one to make my money back you know I thought a lot of this was like more antique -y, but this stuff's like literally like Ikea crap <laughs> That's what I call it. I call it Ikea crap. Um, was it a good buy? Probably not. But, you know, that's part of being a treasure hunter. You never know. But, you know, it should sell. Like I said, we're going to keep a few items. And I've bought in this locker with basically all the money, profit money anyways. So it's not out of my hard-earned money that I make at my real job. So this is like what I call business money. And, you know, there's like a desk back there. We might even just keep that, make that the art table. I don't know, I'll see what the wife wants to do. That little dresser right there, I'm definitely throwing out. This headboard might be worth something. I got all the pieces for it. Looks like it's a full size bed. It does look old. Uh, the mattresses and the pillow, that's definitely going to be garbage. That's, I'm taking that stuff tonight because our garbage is tomorrow. Uh, these trunks, nothing super fancy. And like I said, to me, it's like Ikea crap. So I'll maybe get like 25 bucks for this thing. There's another one back there. It's a little. Um, a lot of glassware. I found like a little bin that had some like bar stuff in it I mean nothing I mean I found a couple old like 35 millimeter cheap cameras you know they might have a little value I might just I found three of them so I'm probably just gonna put them all in a lot try to sell them all but you know I got like this cheap like I don't know it's like a wine rack this is like a, uh, a rolling um, like server tray that's literally like falling apart. Uh, the baskets might be worth something. Might be able to get like maybe 50 bucks for the set of those. 
Like I said, the wife will probably keep this, but we might have to sell it just to get some money back. Uh, this little black storage container, I have no idea what it is, but it's definitely not my taste. Um, but yeah, I think it was a bust. Um, I really wish I got that first unit that canceled this, hit this morning. Um, like I said, I had an $800 bid on that and then it just cancels. So that means either the owner ended up paying their bill or the storage unit was thinking that it wasn't high enough. I have no idea, but I saw a lot of vintage like video game stuff in that unit and I was so excited to win that, but it canceled. And then the second unit had a lot of mystery totes that one canceled so I kind of wanted a unit and you know from looking at the pictures I thought this stuff would be better but it's not I mean I got a couple boxes of just Christmas stuff I got a box right here and you can literally just see it's like a Christmas wreath I'm, you know I'll pop the box open make sure there's nothing else in there but stuff like that I'm taking right to the donation center just to get rid of um, you know, we got like this crazy piece here, you know, it's a helix handcrafted with copper with glass. I have no idea. So as it came from the TV room, but it's not expensive. So it's going to be a tough one, but you know, I've got some stuff that I can possibly take to the flea market on Sunday and hopefully make my money back and hopefully sell some of the other stuff. So stay tuned. We'll go through more of this stuff at the house. What's up, Charger Hunters? I finally made it back home. This is actually the second day after I bought that last unit for 450 bucks. I went after work and got the remainder pickup load and basically just brought it all home. The wife and I are gonna go through it all. The plan is to make a big donation tomorrow. There's a lot of stuff that I want to donate out of these past lockers, including this locker. So I want to put together totes just to take to uh, our local savers, and I just want to donate. But here's just a quick recap of the stuff that I got today. Here's that desk. It's actually not bad. It's kind of cool. We're actually going to use it. Um, the kids and the wife they're big artsy people and i figure this will be a perfect art desk if paint gets on it it's no big deal it looks like there's paint on it already but it's perfect size for what we want to use it for i brought the trunks home got the two i got a bin down there that we're going to go through we got a box there box here box there two bins there and i also brought back today this uh, wine rack or whatever it is. And then just a couple of the miscellaneous pieces of furniture. Don't mind the AC, we got this dresser. We're actually gonna paint that white and we'll probably flip it. The black cabinet I'm gonna destroy. This cheap like TV cart, food server, whatever it is. That thing's just straight up garbage. So anyways, I'm gonna take you for a little quick tour here. My house is kind of like a storage unit right now. And like I said, we're probably gonna be getting our own storage unit to start storing stuff. But I'm gonna just give you a little insight of what's going on in my living room. All these bins right here, are from the unit that I just bought. That box is from the unit I just bought. All this wicker is from the unit I just bought. These uh, six bins, there's six bins with white lids right here. That's all what I bought. All that stuff's from the GI Jane unit. And I got a bunch of stuff over there. But the plan is, I'm gonna go through all this stuff tonight and throughout the weekend. We were gonna do the flea market on Sunday, but here in Chicago, 
it's so hot right now. I mean, it's still like 90 degrees outside and it is 715. It's very humid. Um, Sunday we got a chance of storms and I just don't want to take a chance of setting everything up at the flea market. Next thing you know, it starts raining and you know, the stuff gets ruined. So the next weekend, I plan to do the flea market Labor Day weekend. It's supposed to be in the 70s. It's going to be perfect weather to be outside and hopefully we'll do good then. So stay tuned. I'm going to get the table cleared off and we're going to put a lot of stuff on the table. So like I said, I want to empty out all these bins. I want to put everything on my dining room table. Then the wife and I are going to go through what we want, what we want to sell, what we want to keep and what we want to donate. So stay tuned and we'll see you there. All right guys, I had two boxes in that unit that just basically said like toaster and kitchen and the wife and I just opened up those two boxes and this is what we found in those two boxes. And a lot of this is going to get donated. We got some fake fruit. These are pretty cool. It's actually like rock fruit in a little dish. We're actually gonna keep that. We thought that was pretty neat. And a cool little vase. Got some elephants. We've got a some type of like a bowl plate. Got a little bird. We got one of those like window stained glass things. We got vase. We got these ducks. Thought those were pretty cool. We found this vintage Pyrex set. And we've actually have sold Pyrex in the past. And this is like the vintage stuff. So we got, we've got a total of what? Two, four, six pieces. Pretty nice. Let me come over here. This stuff here, plastic stuff, that's all gonna be donated. They had all this stuff and all this paper out of that box and that box. We found all this stuff, all this glassware. I mean, just random, like, almost like restaurant style stuff. Got a food mixer. We got an old mixer here. We got some old, like, cheese grades, egg cutter. We got a toaster, tons of glassware, more glassware, a uh, KitchenAid teapot which we may keep but basically 99.9% .9 of this stuff on this table is getting donated so stay tuned we're gonna get this put in our boxes and clear off our two tables and we're gonna get into more treasure oh and by the way we'll wait till the end of the video I did find a little bit of treasure so stay tuned All right, guys, we uh, just unboxed a couple more bins, and it's nothing but, like, flatware. We got some pretty cool stuff here. This is made, this is uh, harvest time. This stuff right here has a little value to it. It's made in England. So this is definitely, you know, we're going to try to flip that. Then this is all, like, a... Just a set of white dishes. Um, it says it's holiday, made in Germany. It's not that expensive, so we're gonna throw this on, you know, marketplace or offered up. We're gonna try to do this whole set. You know, we're just gonna take a few pictures, count how many pieces we have, maybe put it up for like 75 bucks. Somebody offers me 50, I'll probably take it. Then we got some more stuff here. Um, this is definitely getting donated. Uh, these bowls, you don't see that too often. Made in the USA, baby, but I have no use for them. So I may try to flip them or I'm just gonna donate them. Um, we got three of these, like different colored. And these are Homer Laughlin. So we're probably going to try to flip these three bowls. Um, my wife said this is like a uh, 
like Sunday dishes. Um, probably just gonna donate them to be honest with you. We got this cheap Libby. Like they even bought it at Ross. I'm just gonna donate um, these cheap, I don't know, beer stein, mugs, whatever they are, champagne. Donate. We're gonna donate that, this whole bag. Donate these knives. We may take those to the flea market. Might be able to get five bucks for those. And might as well try to flip this because it is in the box. Might be able to get like a few bucks for that as well. This is donate. As you can see, we got a lot of paper. We got a donate box going right there. We got more paper here. And just remember at the end of the video, we're going to see what treasure I found. So stay tuned. We're going to put this all away and we're going to bring out a couple more bins. All right, treasure hunters, I'm back. We just did, just put all those fine china dishes away. And sure and behold, we got even more. So now we got to add it to our list. We thought this was old, but it's actually just like a reprint. Got this gourd slash like birdhouse. I have no idea. That's definitely getting donated. Um, got this little like painting. It's actually kind of cool. I'd be able to get a couple bucks for that. Um, we're thinking that these are either a plant stands or maybe like high end. I don't know. I don't know what you'd put on it. Like a hot pot. I have no idea. Then we got some like crystal candle holders. That looks like a nut olive tray or some sort. This is like maybe a little like cake pie stand. Then we got some books. I have no idea. Short stories of Ernest Hemingway. Let's even see if this is old. Let's see if we can find a. Uh, Copyright. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty old. The last date I see on there is 1953. So this little book may have value. Probably not much. We got a gardening book. Good old Tony Bennett. Whatever the heck this is. Some Easter towels. That stuff's getting donated. Then we found some Christmas stuff, literally like fake grapes, a tin, just literally junk. So that's our donation box. That's box number two. Now we're going to start filling up bins because I'm out of boxes. So I got some busted bins we're going to use. So that way we can just get rid of those as well. So we're going to get this all wrapped up, put the dishes with the dishes, keep what we want, which is probably maybe just this and that. The crystals probably getting donated. The plate. I mean, it says France on the back. Um, maybe we'll do a little more research on that. But we'll see. We'll see uh, when we get another box. All right, treasure hunters. We just got a little bit more. We got like this amber vintage, like bar set, like two brandy glasses. Looks like four really unique like maybe a martini glass we got four little i don't know champagne flutes then we got these like four microscopic like i don't know it's like a shot of champagne then we have some of these they're not marked this is probably the coolest piece besides this amber glass Says so Jerome's on it. Then we got a corkscrew. We'll flip that. You know, a lot of this stuff we're gonna take to the flea market. And then we also got these four ashtrays. These are pretty neat. The wife said she was smelling cigarettes, and obviously they were smokers. But we got these four like crystal ashtrays. We'll definitely take those to the flea market. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm back. Went through another bin. 
We got some blue stuff, some like blue vases, little blue bowls. This stuff will sell at the flea market. We're gonna try to flip these uh, like three pitchers. We got two, we got a salt and pepper shaker in blue. We got a set of four of these like copper looking, I don't know, flour, sugar, coffee, whatever you want to put in it. Don't mind the background noise. We're just wrapping up dishes. Got this cool little pottery. It's made in Spain. Um, little like dish, little wooden bowl. I think these are unique. I think these are, we're gonna do some more research on these. But uh, it's got like this mark on it. I don't know. It's like porcelain, little carolers. Got this, uh, I don't know, like oil can for maybe put it on salads or something. I have no idea, but people that collect tin cans, they might like it. It is a reproduction though, but it is pretty cool. Got this green, or I don't know what this is. Made in West Germany, like some type of a pottery dish. There's some more copper plates. This is kind of like a tapestry, like a farm scene. It's pretty cool. But anyways, we're in uh, Put this stuff back this is all stuff we're going to take to the flea market when we make it there like i said it probably won't be this upcoming sunday because it's just so hot here in chicago so we'll probably wait a week temperature is supposed to drop by about 20 degrees so stay tuned and we'll get another bin oh and by the way we're up to one two three and I got two boxes and a bin outside, all for donation. And we got paper everywhere, empty bins everywhere. It's chaotic, but we're getting it done. So stay tuned. All right, guys, just got a little bit more. Did another couple bins. Um, donated a lot more of the fruit. Just stuff everywhere. I had a total Christmas bin. I just got rid of it all. But anyways, out of this bin, we got some old stuff. This is probably the coolest piece. It's a Don Julio tequila bottle from 1942. I know some people collect those. Got like this, uh, maybe a wine. Got a vase. Got this little like china bowl. Got another like solid iron. I have no idea. Got some like decorative plates. Um, this one unfortunately has a chip in it. But it's actually numbered and signed. You know, it's still a great flea market piece. So all this stuff's gonna go to the flea market. And then we also got some of these like blue, six of them, you know, little, like champagne glasses. And then two uh, like crystal salt and pepper shakers. So stay tuned. We're getting there. Um, so far we've gotten rid of, you know, like five or six boxes. And all that stuff over there we are keeping. That's the dishes and just stuff I'm going to take to the flea market. So stay tuned. All right, treasure hunters. Went through another bin. This stuff's all going to be flea market stuff. I mean, we've got like this like pottery here and a little like Hispanic Latino lady, a bunch of little vases. We got this like koi fish. I mean, it says it's made in China. Got this cool little piece. Got these two uh, art pieces. And another one of these like metal things. It's pretty cool. Our donation bins are getting packed to the max. But stay tuned. And we got one more bin to go through. And that's everything that I got out of this unit. I can't wait. Stay tuned. Alright, treasure hunters, here's another quick little box. Um 
Got like this vase here. Got these cool little like old porcelain. We got a big crystal vase. We got a cheap. This is very cheap. But this is probably the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. This thing is wild. It's like a dragon, Chinese dragon. There's no markings on it. But I bet you I can probably get like 25 to 30 bucks for that. Same thing with this big, uh, we saw this in the storage unit when I went there. And I thought there was actually two of them. And, but it's not. There was a green dragon and a rooster. Then over here we got, looks like a vintage, like punch set. I mean, it has like a glass ladle, a bunch of little like cups. Five more here. And we got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve cups and a punch set. We'll definitely take pictures of that and we'll try to sell this online. Um, but we will take it to the flea market as well. Because you never know. So that's pretty much everything. I went through pretty much all the boxes. I mean I got a couple lamps. Um I showed you these at the uh at the unit, um, one's like a rock. Once it's not real glass, it's almost like an epoxy to look like a Tiffany lamp. So they are imitations, but there's the two lamps. Um, we also had these two lamps from there. Uh, definitely be taking these to the flea market as well. And all the lamps work. Um, I'll probably sell these without the lampshades. That's how I did the other ones and they sold real fast. And there's the two for these. And then we got the uh, the basket set that I'm going to sell. You already saw the painting. This is like a, uh, I don't know, it's like a gourd slash pumpkin. It's pretty heavy. It's nothing fancy. Probably like a $5 bill. But anywho, that's pretty much everything, except for the final thing. I told you that at the end of this, we were gonna see what was in here. This is really the only treasure I found in this unit. And we're gonna find out right now. Do you mind helping me? Unscrewing that, honey? It's just your hands. You got it. You can pull it out. I don't want to be on camera. Oh my god. You're already on camera. No, I'm not I stopping. Not even it doesn't matter. Your hands are on camera. Well, anyways, it ain't much. A couple wee pennies. It's just pennies, folks. So was this unit worth 450 bucks? I'll be lucky to make 450 bucks. I'm just being honest on this one, but that's why it's a treasure hunt. You never know. So like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. And this is Ezzy. I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. And thanks for watching Flipping Treasures. We'll see you next time.